my guys, Jilly Cube from Sunshine Coast, Queensland in Australia, joining you uh, on my acrylic art pouring channel. If you, um, if this is your first time, then you have uh, a fun uh, journey ahead of you. If you're only just starting your art journey, or even if you've been pouring for a while, I hope there is something in my. Um, video collection of art tutorials that will help you uh, create some pretty things and give you a bit of a few tips and tricks and pointers. I have an acrylic art by Jilly Cube Facebook page if you want to join us over there and um, we always have some good banter and chats and uh, opportunity to post your artwork and show me what you've done so it's all good stuff so Today I'm going to use my little uh, Montmartre, it's, an, it's a pottery banding wheel but I'm just using it because you can turn it, uh, your art around as you choose. I'm going to do a dip today and I'm doing it on this MDF. I get all my MDF um, products from my online Cabriol Shabishi and they do all sorts of shapes and all sorts of thicknesses and different sizes. So if you're in Australia, you can hop online to the Cabriol Shabby Chic. If you're looking for MDF cutouts in America or UK, I believe you will find them on Amazon or eBay, but they're good um, to pour on and great for making different decorations. Like this one has the hole pre-drilled in it. So you don't even have to do that for a clock or a plaque or whatever you choose. But this one I'm going to make into a clock. What I've done is in the hole in the center, which I never thought of doing previously, is I've got a fat chunky straw that's usually used for um, thick shakes and I'm putting it in the center. But that probably won't work when I come to dip, will it? So that's probably not a good idea. But anyway, I might put it in the center to start with and pull it out when we dip. So I'm going to uh, load my paint on this and dip this second one MDF shape onto it. So I get two for the price of one. So I always love, love, love dips. They come out different every single time. They, are re they really look gorgeous uh, artwork. So if you're looking to sell them, they sell well. And they also are fantastic gifts for giveaway to family and friends so you've always got gifts there for birthdays Christmas Valentine's Day whatever you celebrate uh, you've got a gift to give away or just because gift that's where I the kind of gifts I like the best is just because so okay my little Montmartre wheel is great weighted so I'm I put the tape and rolled it round so it's sticky so it just gives me a little bit of stopping my you know it gives me a little bit of um confidence that my piece that i put on top of it's not going to go spinning off so i'm sure that you may have other ideas that i could use to do that so please drop me a comment um if you think of anything that it might help me because i have some lovely suggestions of people and i really appreciate it so thank you okay so 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 what i'm using today is the no-brainer already pre-made these are montmartre's pouring paints so they're already pre-made up with a pouring medium in i don't believe they have silicon so if you would like cells you can then pour them into a cup and add a little bit of i just add my to these particular paints i add my uh, helmar silicon but Montmartre do do a silicon, but I just love this. is an Australian-made um, silicon, and that will give you cells. But because I'm doing a dip, I'm not particularly after cells at all. I, I'm like the effect that a dip gives me. So, so, what I thought I would do with this was put that there because I want to do my chevron effect all around um, this particular canvas. Um, and I just thought that would give me a guide. I can take that out before I dip, obviously. So, but yes, I'm using these pouring paints and you haven't got to mix them. You haven't got to do anything. 
They are available from Montmart in Canada and the United States. And of course, I have a link uh, in the drop down box underneath this video for the suppliers online and my, uh, the Australian suppliers, Cabriol Shabby Chic. So, I want something bright and uplifting, but I've run out of my cadmium red, which I love because it booms. But I'm hoping that my which one's this one? Shiraz will give it a bit of pizzazz in Shiraz. I'm gonna do something uh, a bit bizarre here that you wouldn't, this is iridescent uh, varnish, so it's sparkly. And I thought if I mix that with my base paint, the uh, which I'll just put white on the bottom, and this iridescent sparkly, I'm just gonna see because I haven't tried it. I just want to see how the mix goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour my white on here. Ooh. So, so they have them all different colors under the rainbow. Absolutely glorious colors. Uh, I need to top up my colors because I have been using them a bit. So you, I'm just using the white. Normally these MDF shapes, you probably would be better to give them a coat of gesso. Gesso is it? Um, or just an undercoat. But I find because this paint's pre-made up, it's sort of got like everything you need in it, like a base and everything. So I haven't found it a necessity to uh, pre-treat the MDFs when I'm using the paints but um, if you so wish to do then obviously go for it so put that white on and I'm going to put some of this iridescent I'm just hoping that I don't stuff up but you know it's an experiment it's all an experience so I'm going to put the iridescent sparkles on it I um, don't even know whether I want to mix that in or should I just leave it I don't know you can try it both ways if you've tried it if you do try it um, let me know let's see I'm hoping people leave me lots of uh, good suggestions I might not re respond to each and every one because I have so many but I certainly try to read them and at least respond with a little uh, like or love that I to let you know that I've read it and if I haven't read it, it's because it hasn't showed up for some reason uh, through Facebook. So I'm not sure what that's going on with that. I'm uh, not Facebook, with YouTube. Sometimes they don't show me all of my messages. And then when I'm going through an old video, I see all these messages there. And I do feel bad then and I haven't responded to you. But please understand, I would if I knew you were there. Okay, I'm going to put this straw... In just to stop all the paint going into the center and trying to I'm going to do my normal um, chevron it'll be a few blobs and a few um, straight lines I'll just go with the flow as they say So this is the beautiful Shiraz. So this is poured directly from the bottle. So it is so good, so easy. Easy peasy Japanesey. So this is the dark green and it should pop against that bright pink. So all good. Yeah, this is what this uh, little banding wheel is good for that you can turn it it's obviously a lot of people and I have got as well a um, lazy Susan does do the same thing uh, for smaller pieces I find this just great because I have got a lazy Susan that's quite a, a lot bigger 
Look, just interesting to see this dry, what that iridescent um, comes out like. Just wanted something bright and sparkly, bringing out the Barbie doll in me. Not that I'm a Barbie doll, I can tell you, but I have granddaughters that love Barbie, so I see a lot of them. Okay, super duper. I'm going to put another a lighter green in there, which is the mid green. Might try doing some lines now. Just trying to keep with the V's, but I'm not now. I'm going out of the the chevrons, should I say? Somebody correct me when I kept saying V's, but you know, like whatever, <laughs> whatever. I'm gonna put some. Gotta put the bolt of bright, further bright. So I'm gonna go the um, bright yellow. Sure, if I've used that one, so I just pop pop the lid, pop the top with a skewer. Now, thank you guys so much for the positive comments that I've been getting. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much that my subscriber count has been going up and up and my watch time. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. I truly do. So I just want to thank you guys for that. Okay, we go the dark purple, purple. Probably would have liked even darker purple than this, like more of the, the um, uh, what you call it now? Yeah, I'm having a brain fart. Ooh. Now, I'm going to put my sparkler in there, which I love, love, love the gold in the Montmartre pouring paints. Love it. I'm going to show you this one I did earlier with the, the boom gel. It's just sitting in front of me and I thought, oh, I have to show you in case any of you missed it. I'm sure the video is up or coming up soon, but that is a beauty. And that's going to be a clock too, so really excited about that just turned out so nice try and remember to put the video link in it if you haven't already seen it just going to do this around the edges so we get a bit of bling in there yeah this gold is a beauty I don't mind leaving the center like that because when this gets pressed out it will for sure um, press in there too so just popping that back on there if it's all a go ass I'm gonna get my other one I'm just a bit worried that because I haven't I tried to knock um, some of my push pins into this to be able to hold it steady but they um, obviously they're too long and I couldn't get it so I'm just going to have to try and do it with my fingers but okay come on out play nice ah, that's it all good so I am just going to go f go for it and just drop this in it and hope that I can get it off easy enough otherwise it'll be a sandwich it'll be a dip sandwich there you go Ooh. 
is there? I don't think I've dipped the MDF at all. I think I've always, when I dip, I dip the canvases so they're nice and pliable and soft to be able to press out. So it will be very interesting what results I get with the um, MDF. And if you haven't seen it yet, it's on my channel. I put a video up uh, with my son doing a Dutch pour, but of course he's an Aussie bloke, so it's the Dutch pour Aussie bloke style. So if any of you know Rinska, which he had a little look at and decided he wanted to have a go at Rinska's um, pour first. So I'll give Rinska, uh, Rinska, do I, do I, do I, I'm not sure if I've pronounced the name correctly, but I'm sorry if I haven't. So yeah, that's, um, find it in my video. If you go to my YouTube video channel and look, you know, just press videos, you'll see the uh, Aussie bloke doing the Dutch pour. That's quite a lot of fun. I did with my adult child, <laughs> adult child. So we had quite a lot of fun on his first pause. A lot of banter and a lot of cheekiness from him and I. So I'm kind of a bit, I don't know whether to turn it slightly, but I'm just gonna pull it off. Oh, and I'm pulling both of them. It's not working. Just a patience. <gasps> oh, looky, looky. Oh my goodness, that is quite, look at the cells developing and I haven't put any uh, cell accelerator or anything in this particular pour, but look at that. And look at the one underneath, okay, I'm gonna just put the one down on a tray waiting on a, and I just wanna push my balloon, uh, my straw back in there so as to stop the hole filling up with paint. But look at that, it's quite lovely. Um, a little thing that I wanna do on the very edges is the, um, hopefully not, not just my little uh, balloon filled with water, just to do around these edges that seemed where I twisted it might look nice just on the very edges if you don't want to um, balloon enhance it anywhere else it's nice to even go on the very edge all the way round it just puts the paint on the edge for you with the balloon it's probably a good idea to keep wiping your balloon so you don't get the muddy but it's just good to finish that edge off and then of course, you, what I'm not using is I can be turning it around with the um, banding wheel. And get all the paint that you've got drips and then just do your very lip of the MDF with your balloon. Easy peasy. That's quite pretty. It is a stunner. I like it. Do some little teeny tiny balloon embellishments on the edges because it's not so pretty on the very edge. Wouldn't even know a balloon's been there. That's what it, that gold is coming through. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I suppose a good idea for a clock is to put a nice big balloon embellishment uh, where every um, number should be on your clock. That would be a, quite a nice one to do. So I might try that another day, but I'm happy with that. I'm happy, Jan. Happy, Jan. That's from an English, no, an Australian ad. Um, I have my other little board here, so there's a few little areas that missed out on a bit of paint. So all I'll do is dip the little balloon in the missed out bits and dip it on the paint, uh, the areas that have missed out on the board. So I'll go around that. Obviously it's a little bit difficult, but that is gorgeous. That's another stunner. I really like that. Gorgeous. 
so gorgeous yep tell me what you think guys you usually do and you're 99% positive and I really appreciate each and every one of you uh, thank you for joining me let me know what you think of this little beauty um, and I'll be giving you updates and especially on my acrylic art by Julie cube Facebook page I will put the fully dried and finished ones up on there but they are gorgeous they're really gorgeous so let's take this out so I can show you okay gorgeous gorgeous I'll just put that down I keep it on a um, a drying rack gorgeous gorgeous it's very nice I like it hope you do too leave me your thoughts please um, let me know what you think yeah it's quite absolutely gorgeous and all with those pouring paints so you know no mixing you could use these paints while you're traveling if you're in an apartment or have a restricted area they're perfect for you because you haven't got to have all pouring me bottles of pouring medium and glue and whatnot you've just got your pouring paint straight away to work with great fun reasonable priced I'm happy um, happy Jen so until next time guys thank you so much for joining me um, bye for now